Thank you very much, Mr. Williams. And thank you as well to the CMO. Good evening to everyone listening and viewing to viewing our COVID-19 daily briefing. I will be very brief as I'm just here to recommit the support of the Ministry of Health to our fight against COVID-19. This morning, I was part of the HEOC meeting and I was able to hear of what the plans are what have been done so far and what the plans are for what is expected to be the second wave of COVID-19. And I have full confidence that our team continues to do what is necessary to ensure that we're able to reduce or even be able to eliminate COVID-19 in St. Kitts and Nevis. I have seen the work that they have been putting in and I also see the plans for when we do have to, because it's inevitable, we will have to reopen our borders at some point, and the expectation is that we would expect a second wave at that point. But I am confident that the team will continue to do as they have done in the first wave to ensure that we are able to curtail whatever the impact may be as it relates to COVID-19. The ministry continues to be cognizant of the fact that we are living in a global world where we expect that persons will need to be able to conduct business and so we have to come up with solutions in order to be able to ensure that we have the safety of our country as well as the economy both in tangent with each other and ensuring we get the results that we desire in both. I am thankful to the NEOC, I am thankful to, I know he's not here right now, but the NDC and NEMO who continue to work very hard in ensuring that we're able to meet all of our targets and goals and the work that they have been putting in is commendable. As well as the rest of the task force, these men and women who continue to give yeoman service to ensure that our country is able to fight this disease and we are able to ensure that the people as a whole are healthy and we stay safe. I also have to commend the people of St. Kitts and Nevis who continue to follow all guidelines that are outlined and continue to follow all the policies and regulations. It is because you continue to do what you're supposed to do while we're able to say that we are now COVID free after 59 days. And I'm hopeful that once we begin to reopen the borders, persons will continue to listen to the advice of the health authority and the NEOC and that we'll be able to curtail whatever the impact may be in the future. And so again, I'm just here to just recommit the support of the ministry and, and myself as the new minister, recommit the ministry and myself to ensuring that we do whatever it takes to support the efforts of the NEOC and the HEOC in fighting this disease. And so I'm looking forward to continuing to support the efforts as well and whatever way, in whatever, whatever I have to do to ensure that we have whatever we need, I commit that to the NEOC and the HEOC. So with those brief remarks, I say thank you again to the NEOC. Thank you to the team that's behind them, continuing to work diligently to ensure that our country is able to fight this COVID-19. Thank you so much.